All right, if you're watching this video, you're probably a patient of mine. Uh, you maybe mentioned to me that you do crunches, you do sit-ups, and you probably have some kind of a low back pain, uh, probably a chronic low back pain. And I have encouraged you already to maybe discontinue those for a while and uh, perhaps forever. Uh, what's a better option? You might be getting sick of doing planks all day long and you want to do something a little bit more intense to activate the abs, but you know, you know that you need to stay away from the crunches and the sit-ups. Uh, there's something called the McGill Curl Up. What you're going to do is have one leg bent, the other leg straight. You're just going to put your hands, palm down, into the small of your back, your low back area there. Um, and then you're going to come up from your chest. I like to think that I've got a string pulling from my chest up to the ceiling. The reason you want to do that is because you want to avoid going forward. You want to go straight up like that there. So again, hands in the small of the back. You're not going to come up. You're not using your elbows to pull you up. Your elbows are going to be uh, just nice and loose. And you're going to come up from the chest. And you can do those there. Notice I'm not using my elbows. Also notice I'm not leading with my head. I'm not jutting my head way out like that there. And I'm also not letting my head be back here like this. Trying to keep my neck as neutral as possible. Otherwise you're going to come in with uh, your back's feeling better, but you're going to have a strained neck. So again, string pulling you up from your chest all the way up to the ceiling. And again, you're not, rest, or you're not uh, using your elbows to bring you up. And again, that's called a McGill Curl Up, uh, just to replace your crunches and your sit-ups. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, as always, and good luck.